Hey guys, this is Asphyxia from r4p3.net. I just wanted to show you a few cool tools that I use whenever I'm setting up a system. Just This is kind of like my standard Windows 10 rollout. First thing I usually always do is I get CCleaner. I just like CCleaner. It's so easy. You just open it up. You can just click Analyze if you're curious. You can see it pulls some stuff up. Then I like to just run CCleaner just to kind of clear the system out, wipe away any it will wipe away any shit, you know? So there's that, and uh, apparently that's been wiped. So let's go ahead and just do it one more time here. And and the fun thing about CCleaner is you can just sit here and just get, like, keep clicking the button and just feel like you're safe for every time. I'm just kidding, I, I don't know. But anyways, I just, uh, I did want to show you guys that I was able to kill iExplore.exe. That's totally knocked out of there. Um, it, you're just not going to be able to run Internet Explorer on this system. I went in through some permissions where the Internet Explorer binary actually is, and I had to like reset permissions in, in that folder, and I had to go through it and just like delete all the files. So, still not sure what's going to happen. The system might update itself, and it, maybe Windows 10 will break. I don't know, but I do know for sure that. Chrome, Google Chrome would not install. And I will show you that really quick here. So I'm just gonna, real quick, as soon as this loads up, I'm gonna just type google.com. And at the top right, you're gonna see the little pop up there, switch, yes, let's switch to the Chrome. And, oh no, that's that's not what that one was about. Okay, well, what was, okay, maybe we gotta like search first. No, okay, whatever, let's just, let's do Google Chrome. So what we're going to do then is just what we're going to go through and try to download and install Google Chrome because I don't think we have it. Yeah, I don't think. So let's go ahead and oh, we should have unchecked that to uh to to not send data automatically. That's bad, but you know, this is just a test machine. I really don't do anything on this here. By machine, I mean virtual machine. I run VMware, so that's where this is. Let's just, for the hell of it, run this again. Although I am pretty sure it's it's going to give us some sort of error about the .NET framework. I am pretty sure it has some sort of like .NET framework dependencies, and I took the .NET framework out with Internet Explorer and a bunch of other Windows nonsense. So it, it'll download it, fine, but once it gets to actually trying to install it, not going to happen. Does it just literally keep trying to download? I think it is. I'm pretty sure. I don't... I don't think there's enough disk space on the system left. Oh my god. Fuck. Failed to cache the downloaded installer. Well, that sucks. Whatever. Fuck. Hmm, not that big of a deal. So anyways, I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview that when when you start up a system, uh, always do CCleaner. I like the software here, great software, Notepad++ is good, and usually I just always end up making some sort of PHP folder and throw some, some stupid and simple PHP scripts in here. Um, I was going to install a web server on here just to kind of give you guys some cool PHP tutorials. Not able to do that with that disk space issue, so I do have, uh, have a drive coming, so should be able to get more disk space. We'll be able to make to uh, tutorials for you guys. Looking forward to make some more tutorials because I really like making tutorials. And so I guess I would like to ask all of you, what do you guys want to learn? Is there anything that you guys would like to learn? Because honestly, I learn a lot better when I am teaching something. It just really makes me go through and try it and really have to understand something at a, a deeper level. I have to really understand the fundamentals of how, how something works and that helps me to teach and then also that makes I think it easier for people to learn because I know that there's a lot of people 
I'm sure, that, that think a, a little bit like me. So there's this plugin for Firefox. It, it's also out there for Chrome, everything really. It's Ghostery. I like Ghostery. You don't have to use Ghostery if you don't want to, but it's kind of a, a cool cool thing. I'm pretty sure it just kind of automatically blocks trackers from your browser. There is also Adblock Plus, which I, it's my favorite by far because it is able to block advertisements. You know, you hate ads. N nobody really likes ads, so I like to just block those. And this was just a, a really stupid PHP file I made. I saved it, went to go get Zamp, and then Zamp was throwing me some sort of uh, low, low disk space, low storage error, so I can't really get Zamp. And so pretty much I just have Windows here. So, I mean, we could try to break Windows, I guess. I mean, I am kind of actually, I'm really curious, to be honest. Let's go into C Windows, oops, C Windows, and then maybe System 32. And when we're in here, let's go see if we can find Set HC. Because it's got to be in here, right? Set HC. You'd think it would be up here. What is this? Here, you know what? I have a really good idea. Let's run this. Yes. Okay, now let's shift. Okay, what is this? I want to know what this is. Oh. Oh, shit. Cancel. Huh. Process. Manager. Process monitor is already monitoring the system, dude. Fuck. Um. Jesus, man. What the hell do you mean, man? Like, seriously, fuck off. I mean, maybe it was already launched? It's probably what it was, man. Okay, well, let's let's go ahead and run this one more time. It probably was already running from... Already running from last time. Okay, like, seriously, what the fuck, man? Okay, what is this right here? Seriously, what what is this shit, dude? Okay, man, well there's gotta be set HC in here. Come on. Let's just fucking search for it, whatever. There it is, right here. So what we're actually gonna do is change this here to, oops, to BK for like backup. Prob probably gonna give us an error here. So then we'll uh, actually just exit this close out of here, try again. Oh shit, don't freeze. Okay, you know what? Maybe we have to go in here into properties. We're going to advanced. No. Security. Edit. Maybe admins. Shit. Okay, we're probably going to need to end up going into uh, the advanced and then change permissions. So let's change the owner here to admin, I think maybe, no, administrator, maybe administrator, okay, here we go, 